And where might this be, you ask? To paradise, I say. Where the cabin sits at a precipice of a magnificent cascade. And where the pines sway to the music of the falls. Time is of the least concern here, because all the cares and appointments are quickly forgotten as you revel in the now. Consumed by the flood of sensual responses. And once there, we can sit with our backs to the wood stove and our bellies to the plank table and sip our whiskey from tin cups and exchange revelations about the trip down the river. Well, after reading this, I need to go see this place for myself. So it's Wednesday night. I just arrived in Tomogamy. It's this beautiful night. The rain teases us a little bit, a few drops here and there, and then it goes away. Tomorrow morning, we get on the float plane uh, and uh, head into Lady Evelyn Smooth Water Provincial Park, where we're going to be going into the Cabin Falls Eco Lodge and doing uh, four days of whitewater canoeing. So I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, really getting, looking forward to getting to meet Hap and Andrea and getting to know them and, uh, and learning a little bit more about uh, whitewater canoeing. So it should be a beautiful trip. And uh, I wasn't going to make a video, but I already can feel like this is going to be one I want to make a little video diary of because I think I'm going to want to remember this trip. And uh, maybe I'll share it with you. Water levels were at record-breaking highs in many parts of Ontario this spring. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but Hap's email read, Ice just let out, water levels high, helmets and wetsuits required. Hmm. Water levels are still a little high up here. And we'll be hopping on that plane shortly and flying to the park. The pilot had encouraging words of wisdom for us when he found out we were going whitewater canoeing. I'm happy it's you, not me, he said. However, the nerves faded quickly and the excitement began to grow as we flew over the beautiful tomogamy landscape that flooded my soul with positive vibes and appreciation. This place is truly incredible. Since this trip was a personal vacation, and I was here to learn as much as possible about whitewater canoeing, I didn't want to get too distracted with the cameras. But fortunately, Hap and Andrew's daughter Alexa had her iPhone out in the canoes and got some really great footage that made this video possible. The float plane dropped us off on Catherine Lake. We loaded up the canoes and we had two sets of rapids to get through. When I first got a glimpse of it, it was more incredible than I ever had imagined.
It was paradise, just like Hap had said in his book. They put me in the original cavern that was built in 1931. It couldn't have been a better fit for me. This adventure was off to a great start. Look at this beautiful little cabin. A little whiskey in the belly, and I went to bed, wondering what was in store for me tomorrow. Yeah, don't ever put it in front of your face. Okay. You need a rock, it'll break your gut. Okay. You need to keep it up just above your okay. head. And get that blade pointed, once you point it like that, and it's the same thing. Here's your stern paddler and your bow paddler's up here. That's gonna push you across to the other side. Turns out, they weren't going to be pushing me down any of these aggressive rapids that I had been envisioning, and I was learning a ton. Once you actually learn what you're doing, it's not that scary at all. In fact, it's incredibly calming because you're so focused on the movement of the water and the position of your boat, you don't have time to think about anything else. Your mind is free to fully enjoy the moment. Sure, whether it's a good idea to have rocks in your life jacket. <laughs> there's two, there's two other nice in the, <laughs> the next few days were a wonderful mix of touring around in the canoes, exploring new areas, playing in the white water, eating the Hap Wilson special sandwich, and a lot of good laughter. Uh, 
<laughs> the old guys need a nap. Yeah. <laughs> The sunrise over the trout streams in Lady Evelyn Smooth Water Park. This place is incredible. What a beautiful forest. These old growth pines just slowly swaying in the wind. The birds. I had to keep putting my phone to my ear because my alarm clock on my cell phone is the sound of birds and it's identical to the birds that are singing this morning. I kept putting my phone to my ear to make sure my alarm wasn't still going because the birds were the exact same tone. There we go, it's starting to peak. I learned a very interesting story about taking things for granted this morning. The sun that we always expect to rise every single day for us. It's starting to come up along this tree line. It's gonna be a beautiful sunrise. And then it just looked at the earth and said, not today, I'm gonna to call it a day. And then just started to go back down behind the hill. It only gave us about an hour of sunlight today. Now, of course that's not actually what happened but there was an optical illusion by this kind of flat layer of cloud that just looks like sky. As it came in across it, it just started to cut off that top of the sun that was rising and gave the illusion that the sun just sat back down behind the ridge. But I guess we need to be grateful every day that the sun rises for us because maybe one day it'll say, not today, go back down. Hap, Andrea, Alexa, in all of my cabin building dreams, I have yet had the courage to imagine building a paradise as breathtaking as you have created here at Cabin Falls Eco Lodge. The calming and kind energy that comes from all three of you is rejuvenating. I'll never forget this place or how welcome you made me feel. Thank you. All the best. Cody, aka Trust and Timber.